Right, so today we're taking out the lining out of the helmet and we're going to give this a good clean, a good wash. Because I've had this helmet now for about two years. I've done a few summer tours in it with a big sweaty yed and I've never cleaned the lining so I think it's about time it had a wash. So let's figure out how we strip the thing. It might give me a good chance actually as well to rewire everything back in. There's one. So that's the bit where I bet has all the sweat off me nogging. Actually, this will be a good opportunity to go through all of this, actually, and rewire it in. There's my two mics, Cardo, that's my drift mic for my camera. Right, so just looking, I've got no washing powder but I have got these washing tablets which I think dissolve let's try it oh it's going blue There they are, they're now drying on the radiator. They should be dry in a couple of hours, I can then put it back together. So here we go then, it's all dry. It all smells nice, it's all nice and clean. I've managed to rewire the cardo and my microphone in. So all we've got to do now is get this lining in.
Yeah. Oh, smells nice and clean. Let's just check everything works. Got my adapter for my camera. Feels all right. Chin guard. Yep, chin guard's fine. Microphones are in place. Got my card out. Some voice works. That's it. It's done. <sighs> Smells nice and clean. So that's how you clean the lining and padding on your motorcycle helmet. But I've got to say, these shark helmets, it's a bit of a mission getting these side pads in. Because the little plastic skirt, it's got hooks on it and clips. But it's done, it's in, and it smells good. Oosh!